I think this plane is worth every single penny. It's very worth it because it has like a whole set, comes with everything. It's a very beginner and it has different modes here. It has beginner, intermediate, and expert. So you like it, huh? Yeah. Wait, who is this little guy on my channel? Why is he giving advice and recommendations about the Volantex RC Sport Cup 500 Ultra Micro RC airplane that I purchased from Banggood.com? Who made him the expert in these matters? Should we trust the advice he is giving about this little park flyer? Well, he must be an experienced RC pilot to be flying like this so confidently, low and close, buzzing me. Is he though? I'm not going to give it away. Let's rewind the clock for about 15 minutes and go back to the beginning of this story. Welcome back to Props and Wheels. We have again Volantex RC Sport Cup 500. If you watched the previous videos, you may ask, what's up with this plane? Why are you showing this one again to us? Well, it's a special day because I have my younger son Kaya at the camera. He is going to be my camera person and hopefully it will be a nice flight. But I kind of tricked him. That's the special about this video. I really tricked him. I am the camera person. He is the pilot in command today. Give me the camera. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. You didn't know? <laughs> what? Yes. You you are going to fly this airplane. So before that, so you are the the actor today, okay? Everything is on you today. You didn't you didn't realize that, right? So tell us about your experience with RC airplanes. Uh I've been doing RC airplanes for not long time did have you ever flown an rc airplane before yes, an easy rc airplane which one was it the uh the it was the champ yeah the champ. yeah the champ so you, how, how successful was it um kind of successful kind of like you had a couple crashes uh was it difficult to fly mm, not really what else do you fly uh Helicopters. Helicopters and drones at home, right? But you have very little experience, right? Mm -hmm. Especially with the airplane, something like this. This is four channel and Champ is uh, three channel, right? Mm -hmm. So are you excited? So you're going to have the controls. You have done it on the simulator as well before. So one thing you have to, so this is stabilized. Remember your training, okay? And you don't have to give too much throttle. Don't give it right now. It's sitting on the on its belly. Yeah. And then you'll be using just the right stick. You don't. You just on the left. You can set it. Set this to maybe half throttle, even a little less. And only time you are going to need to cut this off is if it is uh, if it's out of control. Just return the throttle to all the way down off, and then let go of the right. Stick. It will it will land itself almost. So it should be very stable. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. So I'm going to hand launch it for you, all right? I'm going to do the hand launch for you. Uh, ready? Yeah. Okay, you are flying. Very good, just don't go too far and into the trees. That's the most important. Keep it a little lower if you can. Keep it a little lower if you can. Bring it, you know, cut down the trowel a little bit. Bring it lower so it doesn't go in trees, but you are doing great. Is it stable? Yeah, yeah it's, it's flying pretty stably. Just cut down the trowel a little more and bring it down. We are really far up over there. You are doing great, Kaya. Don't be nervous, you are doing good. Also bring down a little bit so that the video looks a little better. Not just the, the sky, but we'll have some features. Get it close, closer to us. You are doing great.
Very good. You are doing great. So folks, I just wanted to see how easy it is to fly this airplane. I mean, my younger son Kaya has very little experience with I RC airplane. Than the champ. Hmm? I think it's easier than the champ. You think it's easier than the champ? Because it is stabilized and it's in the beginner mode. Remember I mentioned the beginner mode? Yeah. So this is in the beginner mode. It is. Uh, it has six axis gyro and whenever you let go of the stick it is stabilizing it uh, making it like fly straight and level let me show you he is really the one flying it folks he is flying it bring it close to me okay yep you can probably decrease the throttle a little slightly Put a little less throttle and fly the little. Very good. I'm not being a very good camera person though. Mm. Wow, you are just skimming the, the surface. Perfect. Oh, just cut down the power. I tried to land it. You're trying to land it? Okay. Go grab it. This is it folks, he's flying himself. And in my previous videos I sometimes uh, said that I don't like stabilized airplanes. Well, whatever Volantex RC did, they did an excellent job of uh, putting this together and programming the, the gyros because this is amazing. I had uh, other airplanes with stabilization from XK and they didn't worked that well. They were very uh, squirrely, jumpy, and it did uh, go down or up when I let go of the right stick. So this is just straight. So that's normal, Kaya. So see, yeah, that's very normal. So th this is the, you're just seeing. This is that little uh, adapter. You just click that in. You just line it up and just push it in and it will click, see? They did it on purpose so that you don't break anything else. Ah, I see. Yep. Are you ready for another flight? Here you go. Uh, don't, yeah, yeah, stay up about uh, this uh, altitude and you'll be fine. You're doing really good, Kaya. So, do you recommend this to beginner pilots? Totally. Totally. Totally, he says. Very good. I think this would be a great plane for very new people. Uh huh. And this is our just local park. And the weather is perfect right now. I always recommend beginners to start on a very calm weather. We had some really serious thunderstorms earlier. You can see probably from the shape of the clouds. But that ended about two hours ago and now it is that calm, almost. I don't feel any breeze and this is perfect flying weather for newbies who want to get their feet wet. And this is the perfect airplane. I, I don't want to say because I was always against stabilization and nannies and all that, but this will give the newbies the chance to fly without crashing on even if they crash. This is a very resilient airplane made from uh, EPP, expanded polypropylene, I believe. And look, I mean, he's flying it really slowly. What is your uh, throttle setting? It's like less than half. Yeah, it's less than half. I mean, look. Decreased it. Well, you decrease it and then you are keeping it at perfect altitude. And then I'm going to try to get it a little closer by just going close to it. Very good. And then you are not putting it, uh, making it at a tree ornament. That's also good. Bring it a little closer to us. Don't, don't worry. I'll, I'll duck if it comes towards my head. 
Kaya, you are a, you are an RC pilot now. This is impressive, and I think those uh, times on the sure. on the simulator helped you as well, right? Yeah. And and he finds this easier to fly than the Champ. I mean, I would have not assumed that before buying and flying this airplane, but it is. It is so dead stable. You let go of the right stick as long as you have a little bit of throttle, maybe 30% and over, it will fly straight and level. And even if there is some breeze, it will correct for that. I haven't seen it on any other planes, even the brands that uh, kind of uh, rhymes with the Verizon lobby. <laughs> even those are not this good. And I only paid about $72 shipped to our door for this airplane comes with one battery and charger and controller and everything everything you need even spare prop and prop adapter and this is not sponsored I, I paid my own money for this and I'm not as if you watch my other videos I'm not as easily uh, I was saying I'm not as easily impressed with the planes and I usually give my honest and really straight opinion and with this one I cannot find any faults except in the expert mode. The expert mode is like an aerobatic mode. That's the only fault of this one. I wasn't expecting it to be this hard. Yeah, in the expert mode. A plane like this one flying so good in the beginner and intermediate mode and being so difficult to fly and so jumpy on an expert mode but other than that this is a perfect trainer I mean you can start at the beginner get it to the intermediate mode after that and if you have enough courage <laughs> you can get it to the expert mode at the end I, barely have any I know it's like it keeps flying it keeps flying right yeah all right on the next pass if you feel comfortable just cut down the trial and then try to land it close to us, okay, on the next one. Just bring it around. And then you don't have to do much, just, you know, when it's coming towards us. Oh, very good. I the throttle is off. All right, give me a high five, man. Great job, great job. The prop came up, that's normal. It is made to do that. It's made for doing that. Yeah. So, what are your impressions, Kaya? I think this would be a great for a beginner plane and even for intermediate because it has different modes. Um, oh, you already looked at it. <laughs> yeah, and you know that? I haven't shown you that, but that, that also has an aerobatics key, the button. You press that one and then you just pull on one direction, it will do a loop or a roll. I think it's really great because even if you do like this, it it automatically just stabilizes and turns. I really like it. Like I'm glad. So did I, I was I able to hook you to the hobby. So I'm going to fly more because mm -hmm. you were a little discouraged after you flew the champ, right? Mm -hmm. it, it was all, yeah. And it was a breezy day as well. I mean, we have to give credit to, to the champ as well. Yeah. It was a breezy, breezy day. And next time you fly, maybe you can, do you want to try the intermediate now? Oh, no. <laughs> no, okay. You want to leave it on a good note, huh? I'm going to try it a bit more and then see if I can do an intermediate. The controls are really nice. I like the throttle. Like even if you're on a low throttle like mm -hmm. around here, it's not too bad. It just keeps turning. It can even go up. You can even go up, huh? And it doesn't stall, right? As long as you don't go this up. <laughs> <laughs> so you liked it. I'm glad. Finally, I found something that you liked. Yeah, I mean, I've been trying to get him to the hobby. I got another plane. It was the larger version of this from Volantex RC, the Super Cup. Do you remember the blue and white? The only problem is uh, that one uh, doesn't have stability control and even I had trouble flying it sometimes. So it was a little too fast for you. But this is perfect. I mean, even if you had a hard landing, the, the prop just falls off, right? And then you can put it back on. Yeah. All right. Well, folks, thank you so much for watching. And here is our new pilot, Kaya. You'll be seeing of him a little more in the future videos. Uh, please leave any comments you want to have. Uh, you have to say down below in the comment section if you have any suggestions 
for us to buy and fly different types of airplanes as long as they are not too expensive we'll use our own money and to buy it we are not sponsored we don't have any patrons yet at least so let us know what you like to see give us some feedback we are new to this this uh, channel is just uh, starting up so give us some feedback we really appreciate it in any case well stay safe and healthy see you on the next video bye bye